All right, guys, so I'm gonna do a quick YouTube follow-up here for the stream that I just did. Um, I had to stop stream because I could not figure out a way to bore these two inch holes. I have the Forstner bit, but the problem is you go at an angle, it starts to wander. And it makes sense, there's nothing to support it. It's not biting into anything. So my first inclination was to think about a spade bit or paddle bit. And we tested that at an uh, inch and a quarter and that worked great. So I'm like, okay, great, I got a solution, I can do this. I run over uh, to the internet, uh, looking at Amazon, looking around. Uh, turns out, guess they don't make two inch spade bits. So as I'm sitting there, you know, cussing and snarling and, you know, blubbering and crying and stuff, um, I started, I started going, you know, starting going through the thought process of like, okay, this is not possible. So what are my options? What are my options? What are my options? Thinking it through, thinking it through. Uh, I went back to something one of the, one of the um, members of chat in the last stream said, uh, eventual entropy, who said, who said this, uh, he's like, you know, I usually just, I have this guide that I use. I, I have a similar guide, drill guide. I brought it out and, you know, kind of explained how I'm, I'm just not confident in them and I've had bad results, but that came back to my mind. And then I felt a bit like an idiot. I felt a lot like an idiot. And I went, wait, couldn't I just make a jig that would be stationary and not walk around? Yes, of course I could. And that's what I did. So let me show you this. Here is the two inch hole that I need at the angle I need it. Ooh, dust everywhere, sorry. I'm trying not to get dust on you. Uh, there you go. You see, it's, it's kind of hard to tell, but it is, it is angled, right? Here, let me try to give you a, a backdrop so this works. There you go. See, it is at the angle that I want, which is 15 degrees. Uh, it's clean. It's a nice clean hole, right? And the way that I did that <clears throat> is I used my um, cute little drill press here with my little angle angleable vise set at 15 degrees, and I made a jig. These are the actual jigs that I'll be using doing these holes. Um, uh, you can definitely see the the angu angular angulation strangulation here. I think well, not really. I guess, but yeah, this this is definitely angled. And what I did uh, is drill not all the way through. So we're gonna have to make reach through this wood into the um, the workbench, and then it will just continue all the way down. That is how I made this pretty dude. So I know it works. I actually tested the thing all the way through uh, and tried to use a, use it in exactly the way that I would for doing it through the bench. Uh, learned some stuff there. I'm pretty sure my Forstner bit is gonna be retired after this because it's kind of burnt out. Um, I think it's work hardened and some other shit because I didn't know what I was doing, to be honest. But that is what I'm gonna be doing now. I don't know if I'll, I'll probably end up montaging this and speeding, speeding it up so you can see it, but the process for doing this, let me, let me try to get you a better angle on this. I don't even know if I'll edit this. I might just, just throw this on YouTube like it is part of this part of the stream or something. But the process, as you can see, is um, I've got, where'd my other one go? I've got the jig set up. I created orientation lines, right? You can see them here. I have the direction of, of the down angle. So this, this one right here is angling in, uh, it's a good way to, from the side. Okay, so because I have this arrow right here, I know that this thing angles from the back of this hole to the front of the hole. Right, so that's what these little arrows are about. And I know where, where dead center is on, right? That's where these little lines are. So I can just take these lines, which is what I did here, and line them up to the uh, registration marks, the, uh, the angles that I put here, clamp them to the bench, right? So that's gonna give me this direction angle. And then I can just rely on, on this hole as a guide, as like a bushing, right? Um, because this, nice thing about Forstner, Forstner bits is they can't really cut from the side like at all. So, I, they can a little bit, but it's a lot more difficult. There's so much surface area holding it into that hole. This is gonna serve as a guide to allow me to drill at the, the correct angle, both angles, at the same time. Now, once I, once I get this guy a good distance into this wood, I can actually remove this and continue all the way through, right? So I can have more room for clearance, and that's what I'm gonna be doing here. You may also notice, well, maybe you can't because you can't see it. Uh, I'll put you here for now. <clears throat> I've got 
one of my, my pieces of, of test wood right here. This was this was one I actually this is what I actually used to drill uh, use the jig to drill through. So this is the actual finished product right here, right? Uh, but this is this is just some throwaway wood that I was using for testing, and this will allow me to force a bit all the way through this and then into this. And I know I know where on my drill bit here how deep I go before that happens, and then I should have a clean hole on both sides. There should be no blowout. It should be nice and pretty. Because again, remember the underside of this right now is the top, right? And this surface is the bottom. Uh, hopefully, it's going to turn out. This is probably going to take a while. I have to take my time, and this is a lot of material to drill through. I don't even know if my Forstner bit's going to hold up. And if that's the case, then I'll just I'll have to edit the video, and I'll I'll have to get a new one, and then finish the process, and then I'll put it up so you guys can see what I did. All right. So, as they like to say in YouTube land, without further ado, let's get started.
actually did, did a thing. Pretty sure it did a thing. I really hope so. I can't reach all the way down there to double check, but there was no margin. And that says to me, we got her. Oh God, I have to See, I was doing so good today too, and now it's like a freaking wreck in here. Uh, of course, it's part of the fun, right? You gotta, if you're gonna play, you might as well play in the mud. You might as well flame them up. Oh, we threw. Let's check it out, see? This did its job. Barely, I had to guess where this was gonna end and I barely, 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 barely hit it. Woo! That's scurvy. I think I'll just leave this at this angle. All right, clean up today. garbage out. Well, it's coming back in, I guess. All right, the big reveal. There it is. Change the angle so you can maybe see. 
I don't know if that's going to work. Try to have the pod legs are jerks. No, you can't see it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a... Oh, that's a, that's a hole, all right. Look at that. Hole number one done. I don't know what the... Oh, other side. Okay, guys. You guys get to check the undercarriage. You ready? Okay, don't don't vomit. We're gonna go upside down for a sec. Undercarriage check. Hey, that turned out nice. Freaking sweet. All right, proof proof of concept actually matched the product. I am I am happy with that. And this is gonna take me a very long time. I don't. I'll, I'll know, I guess, when I put this little video together. Because I really should montage it. That took a while. But I'm sure I'll flash somewhere on the screen how long it took. But now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna record me doing all four holes. I'm not even gonna do all four holes tonight. Because I am tired, I'm hungry, I wanna hang out with Mrs. Dr. Protron. So, ah, it's great though. That's great, it's not, I mean, there's, there's imperfections and stuff, for sure. But this should be totally serviceable for, for what I needed to do. All right, folks, so there it is. Um, imagine you're doing that four times and you'll have the full picture. This was, of course, just a fast and dirty YouTube video just to follow up on the stream. And it works. It's going to take a long time, but I have a way to do it. All right, so until next time, take care.